oh wow, the lights are connected to the power source and they just become something far greater than the sum of their parts. I'm always mesmerised by the beauty of colour, not shape or object, just colour. There isn't one colour that I like more than any other. They're all beautiful and each one plays its part in bringing out the best of all that's on the tree and the tree itself. Jesus is the light of the world and when we come to him we receive this light. He tells us to let the light shine and as we do it points to him, not us. Have you ever been to an airport at night and seen the number of lights guiding the planes as they arrive and depart, often within minutes of each other? That causes me to ponder on how the light of Jesus that should emanate from us may be used. Sometimes a spotlight's required, shining a light on something someone needs to see. Sometimes cat's eyes are required to keep you on the right side of the road. Sometimes floodlights to enable a game of sport to be played at night. Sometimes the kind of light that surgeons require in order to see what needs to be removed and repaired. And sometimes lights just like these on the tree, bringing nothing but joy and hope. And of course there's the light that was spoken into being. I wonder whether Mary and Joseph noticed the stars and what it was like when the angels were singing and the whole sky lit up. And then it makes me think of light in the universe, the swirling colours and patterns. And I think we haven't even begun to come close to understanding what the glory of God looked like to the shepherds that night. How amazing that it was light from a star that enabled the wise men to find Jesus. I wonder how long it took them to work out the meaning of the star. I wonder if they argued on the way. Their journey can't have been that easy. But for the shepherds, it was unmistakable. They didn't have far to go. They were already so near, so near to that stable where the baby was. Light of the world, may you burn ever brighter, drawing us all ever closer.